all right so let's explore how the acceptance filtering works with an example now let's take this example accept frames only if first three msps of the standard identifier are ones now i would like to introduce this picture so here let's consider the filter bank zero anyway we are 28 filter banks so let's consider the filter bank zero now as i said each filter bank comes with its own two filter registers okay one is called as r1 and R, another one is called r2 and both are 32 bit registers now let's say a message comes into the can rx and uh, that message is received and let's say the standard identifier of that message is let's say 110 and uh, let's say one zero zero one um zero 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 one totally 11 bits okay let's say this is a standard identifier so this corresponds to zero cross how much uh, six nine one right now let's say a can controller receives this identifier now this message will now go through the filter bank zero so because you are using filter bank zero so it will go through the filtering which is imposed by filter bank zero now so the filter banks you can keep in several modes so the one of the most famous mode is mask mode so we are exploring the mask mode and there are also other modes i will tell you later when you keep the filter bank in mask mode then the definition of these registers will change now the r1 is treated as identifier register and r2 is treated as mask register and here you can see that these are the uh, field mappings okay in the registers so now our requirement is allow only those identifiers which have got first three msps as one so the mask register is actually used to mask out the corresponding bits in the id register so if you make any of the bits in the mask register as one remember what happens is the corresponding uh, bit of the id register will be checked okay against the message received and they have to be exactly same so then only the frame will be accepted otherwise frame will be rejected okay so basically in this example i would keep one 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 here okay in the mask register so that i want to check only three msps first three msps of the standard identifier right so standard identifier uh, first three msp will will get mapped at this region right so that's why i have shown the fields mapping okay and the rest of the things i would make zero because we need not to check right so all these will be zero so now what happens the corresponding bit in the identifier register will be matched against the received identifier so that's why i would keep one 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 here okay and i can put anything here no problem okay anyway that will not be compared because mask register has zero there right so now what happens this bit is compared with this bit the msp now that is one now this bit will be compared with uh, the next msb okay that is also one and this is one here and this is zero here right so they should exactly match okay so here it is not matching so that's why this frame okay will be discarded by the filter engine and the message will not be forwarded to the fifo okay so that's how filtering works now suppose if this bit is one then of course it would have occupied the FIFO great so I hope you're understanding so let's take another example accept frames only if first three MSBs of the standard identifier are zeros and last two LSBs are ones okay let's see how to implement this now we are interested in matching the first three MSBs right so that's why I would make these three bits as one and we have to check last two lsps right so so the msp falls here lsb falls here right so last two means these two so you have to make this as one and this as one and rest all we have to make as zeros okay so those fields are not checked in the identifier register right so now in the identifier register what i have to keep 
zero 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 because that's what I'm expecting and here are uh, one and one right so these things uh, are don't care okay great now let's say a frame reception happens and let's say we receive identifier zero 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 one zero zero one zero one 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 let's say so now here so these three fields will be checked first so they are exactly matching that's great and last two lsbs must be one and that is also true and that's why this frame will be allowed so and if it succeeds uh, matching in this field but it fails over here let's say if it is zero then that frame will be discarded okay great so that's how filtering works now let's see another example accept frames only if standard identifier value exactly equal to 65d or 651 now this you can do by using mask mode but there is also another mode called least mode or id mode okay so difference is here the r2 register is no longer called as mask register but that is also treated as another id register to uh, you know configure the expected identifier value so that's why uh, it's better you use uh, id mode for this rule okay so what you have to do is accept frames only if standard identifier value exactly equal to 65d or 651 so what you do is you store 65d okay in identifier register 1 0 65d and you store 651 0 cross 651 in identifier register 2 so when the frame arrives so first identifier value will be checked against the id register 1 okay if it is exactly matching then that frame will be allowed okay and if it doesn't match okay and it will be checked against 651 and if it is matching with 651 then only it is received otherwise that frame will be discarded so all the frames which come with different identifier value than 65d and 651 will be discarded by the filter engine and how do you store 65d in this register 65d is 0 uh, so 110 uh, 5 means uh, 0 1 0 1 right and D 1 right so how do you store this so first three LSPs you have to store here right 0 1 2 so so these fields okay 1 0 1 okay uh, 1 0 1 okay and rest all you have to store here okay so you have to store uh, in the corresponding field only okay so don't just store randomly okay it will not work all right so so that's the difference between mask mode and least mode so in least mode there is nothing called mask register but r2 register is considered as another id register that's it okay now let's move back and let's see accept only request frames so what you do here so in CAN protocol, you know that RTR is equal to zero means it's a data frame, right? And that is if RTR bit is dominant, that means it's a data frame. And if RTR is equal to one, that means recessive, it's a, a remote frame, right? So that's why, so how do you implement this? Accept only request frames. So we can definitely use the mask mode. So you have to configure this RTR field, so which is here. And so I would make this field in the mask register as one. Okay, this as one. And after that, I would keep one here. Okay, so that is actually the recessive state, isn't it? Right? So when a frame is received, the RTR bit will be checked. And if that is recessive, then only frame will be received. For all the data frame, uh, the RTR bit will be dominant. That means zero. So hence all the data frames will be discarded now our next thing is accept only extended id frames so remember that in can protocol there is a bit called ide right that is id extension so ide is dominant for 11-bit identifier frames okay and ide is recessive 
for 29 bit identifier remember that point what we can do is so here we can make use of uh, this field here IDE so I would actually enable that for checking so I would make this bit as one in the mask register and after that I would keep this as recessive okay that is one so all are zero okay for this use case now the next one accept all frames okay so this one so if you want to accept all frames what you have to do uh, you need not to configure the uh, filter at all okay so but just you have to make sure that to which FIFO the message should go that you have to configure so that I will teach you later and regarding the filter configuration need not to do anything okay so if all these bits are zero that will be by default zero so then okay none of the bits will be compared with the packet or frame received so hence all the frames will be forwarded to the configured FIFO uh, without filtering great all right so now we have to implement the filter config using uh, our code and uh, stm32 cube gives uh, many data structure in order to configure the uh, filter of the can controller in that data structure you have to tell what is the filter bank you want to use and what is the mode of the filter bank such as a mask mode or id mode and you have to configure uh, to which FIFO the filter bank should forward that message received message or filtered message okay so now you have to configure that otherwise your application will not work okay so it doesn't matter whether you are actually masking to filter or not so you have to uh, use the filter config uh, APIs which is given by the stm32 cube layer and that we are going to explore okay so we'll explore that in the next lecture